Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel and blog. I'm Jenny Hall. Thanks for joining me for another card making tutorial. Today I'm sharing a card with you that I have created with some summer beautiful sunshine colors. I'm using a new stamp set too. It's called Happy Birthday Gorgeous from the new catalog. There are many different stamps in this stamp set and I'm going to use the outline floral image stamps to create a different look with a couple of different papers. My goal is to get the same flowers but with different backgrounds to give the flowers the look of being different colors. I'm going to place them all together in the same arrangement or maybe it kind of looks like a rose bush and I want them to be different colors of the same flower. To get them to all tie together, I'm using some common colors. Early Espresso is a color that goes very well with the appearance of gold once it's seen in the shadow or in the non-reflecting light. Color Theory Designer Series Paper Stack has a lot of pretty colors and a lot of pretty paper. I like this yellow ombre look and so I'm going to use that ombre effect to my advantage whenever it is going to be used as the background to my roses. I'm adhering everything together with a couple of different adhesives and where the interesting and fun part comes in with making this card is placing all these flowers. One question that I receive a lot about doing this type of a placement on a card is that crafters say they don't know how they should place the, the object, the stamped image basically. So my advice is very general. I stick to the same basic design concept for all of the projects that I work on. I use a visual triangle to try to place the color and the shape in any kind of a design. If you follow my channel, you have already heard this from me many times. The one thing to remember about working in a visual triangle is that it will bring you success. It's a no fail kind of design. So remember that when you're placing different colored flowers, and in this project, I have made sure that I have more than one, more than two different colors. I have the brown flowers, I have the yellow cardstock flowers, and then I have the flowers that I've made from the lighter section of the designer series paper that I'm using. All three of these colors work together, but I'm going to use the colors in an advantage so that they are placed around and used in a triangle. Now you can flip this triangle in any direction that works for you. Sometimes my triangle is a little bit more wonky than other times, but the important part is that I'm pleased with it and that it tends to bring me success most of the time. So I would urge you to try that kind of a theory when you're working on your next project. This can be used for stamping and it can be used in placing die cuts or fussy cut images such as I'm using today. To fill in a lot of the area, I'm using some sequins that will also coordinate with all of the flowers on the card. The inside of the card is being stamped with one of the same stamps I used on the front of the card and adhered down with some liquid glue. Thanks for joining me for today's tutorial. I appreciate your support and invite you to go to my blog at jennystampsup.com and click on shop now to shop for any of the supplies I've used today or any general card making supplies that are available in my Stampin' Up! shop. Thanks again for joining me I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day!